going. And we're back. So this is this week's edition of Let's Renovate a Historic Home. Um, a lot of stuff is going on behind the walls, so there's not a lot of stuff that's super apparent um, as far as the last couple of videos have showed. But they did install the plumbing, the electrician. Apparently this is a normal thing, but electrician didn't come when he was supposed to. He's coming on Monday. Um, but they did all the rough-ins for the plumbing, so we'll walk you through and show you. This is where our island is going to go. Um, James is standing in the corner of the kitchen where cabinets would be. But So sink kind of lays out a little bit better here. Sink. Um, I'm standing at the sink now. Dishwasher would be right here behind me. This is the range. And then the fridge. Um, so there's that. Um, since we shot the video last week um, on Monday for you guys, or I guess it was earlier this week, um, we decided that all of that textured drywall that James and I said that we were going to scrape, we realized that it was going to take us forever. Um, so we decided to dip into our reserve budget and go ahead and do non-textured drywall. Um, so James can walk you over here in a minute. So you can see that they've started to drywall the casement um, and drywall in here. They haven't drywalled this yet because the electrician and the plumber still need to get in here to install the gas line for the stove and to um, hook up the water line for the fridge. But yeah, so they tore down all the old sheetrock. It already looks a hundred times better in here, even though it's just sheetrock that hasn't been taped or mudded yet. Um, it looks a lot cleaner. They exposed the rest of the fireplace for me. Um, I'm really happy with how the brick looks. There is some patching that was done with just regular concrete, so we're trying to figure out the best way to cover that up. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave us a message on this video. Um, I tried to chip a piece of this like grout out and take it to Home Depot to color match. It looked really good in the store, but we got it. We painted it in an indiscreet section and this is what it looks like. Can't turn your headlamp off. There you go. Yep. So not as apparent as the concrete. It definitely doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, but it's not great either for us to do it that way if we're gonna leave this exposed and kind of be the centerpiece of our living room. Um, but yeah, so that's done. Um, James and me, just to keep you guys updated, James and me are painting this house top to bottom. Um, we decided to leave that out of the contract. We told them that we would be responsible for it. They currently have a pool going on how far we'll get into painting before we ask them to finish. So that means that James and I are finishing the painting out of spite. Um, plumbing, plumbing came in. Glad we were here. We have a leak. James took a leak and it took a leak <laughs> when he flushed the toilet. So we've got a bucket underneath here and we'll let our contractor know. Um, but yeah, it looks like, looks like it's leaking up there. Um, going back to this room, I feel like the junk just keeps getting shifted from room to room. Um, so one day James and I are gonna need to come here and actually clean out junk. Um, but you can walk with us. Going into the master bath. As you can see, plumbing is done. Um, double vanity. That insulation looks like crap. Um, and I'm looking down into our basement right now, but this is done. We've got our HVAC drain. Um, they've actually nailed these down so that we can see where the shower is. 
um, and then shower head. Working with an old house, there's always things that you have to tweak. Um, our contractor texted us earlier this week and was like, hey, you have a beam, like a structural beam in the way of your shower. Do you want us to cut into it and compromise the structure or do you want us to shift the shower drain two inches, one, two inches off center? So we chose two inches off center. I can't even tell, to be honest with you. So, and I'm kind of finicky about things like that. So if I can't tell, then most people won't be able to tell. Um, but our toilet's roughed in. Guys, nothing, nothing else is really happening this week. It's kind of, a lot of stuff has gone on, but not a lot of stuff to show you guys, if that makes sense, except for the roof. So. I'm gonna go up. Or show them through the bathroom. Sure. So oh, the so porch roof, the porch roof, um in the front we knew it was bad didn't know how bad um and boyd and them ripped into it on friday i believe um took off the old the old metal walk around this way took off the old metal and um Essentially said that they were surprised that the roof was still standing there. Um, somebody commented on our contractor's Facebook page that it was standing out of habit just because it always had been. And he said that that was a pretty good, a pretty good explanation. Um, this isn't even the bad corner. The bad corner is over on the other side. Boyd said the good news is that since it was actually leaking so bad and in so many places that it leaked straight down, so our historic like trim work and everything like that is actually in pretty decent shape. So I guess that's nice because custom milled um, trim work is pretty expensive to make. So yeah, they're rebuilding the porch roof and we'll have a structurally sound porch. Um, James and my project that we were in charge of was Repainting the off a tub. Um, Boyd had it refinished for us on the inside and we were responsible for repainting. Um, we're making a couple of videos of our journey with just this first project that we're doing ourselves, but it's been a little trial and error. Um, we started with a regular paint stripper. That didn't work at all. Um, there's just probably a hundred layers, I'm exaggerating, but it felt like a hundred layers of paint on top of each other on the top. So that paint stripper was like stripping one layer at a time. And there were some places where all the layer, it was exposed all the way down to the tub. So we felt like when we painted it, it was gonna look like it had huge dents in it just from the paint. Um, so we got this Demon stuff James saw it on this old house and has been watching YouTube videos about it. I feel like James has been praying for an opportunity to use this. Um, he's been talking about it ever since he found it. So, yeah, that's what we're using. It has to sit for 12 to 24 hours to cure. So we're going to leave it here overnight, come back in the morning and peel it off and prep it and primer it. Um, and then we'll start painting. We actually went and got the paint today. We thought I was gonna. We thought we were gonna be done with this project today, and that was that was very very optimistic. Very optimistic. So yeah, um, paint samples are in the car, but I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, yeah, we also did the claw feet. Um, we're painting the tub this color. It's like a very, very light gray. The walls are going to be this color. Our flooring's going to be white. Um, so, yeah, we're hoping that 
We're hoping that that looks nice. Um, yeah, I think that's about think it that's for about it. this week. Um, we did purchase, if James wants to follow me, went down to the antique store at the bottom of the hill. Yeah, antique shopping. Um, we needed railing. I know that we mentioned this in a previous video. We needed railing for in front of the English basement. Um, so I went to an antique store about a month ago. Can't Bless you. Um, I went to an antique store about a month ago. They had some there. I asked her how much she wanted for it. She told me $300. I was like, hell no. Um, although that stuff at most places sells for like $40 a linear foot. And we needed like 12 by mm -hmm. seven. So we needed 19 linear feet. So I don't know what that's like, what, 19 times 40? It's and, a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, like 3,600. Yeah, 30, or 360. No, 3,600. I'm gonna edit this portion out. No. <laughs> 19, 19 times 40, yeah, is, is $3,600. Um, so that's expensive. Mm -hmm. It's ex are you saying, mm -hmm, I didn't do the math right? No, it's expensive. Yeah, it's expensive. So I just wasn't ready to pay that. We actually, at that point, hadn't even closed on the house yet, so I wasn't going to pay $300 for a fence. And then for some reason, something happened and us not get the house. But I went back this week. Um on Monday and, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday, Tuesday. Went in on Tuesday and talked to her and she told me that she'd take 150 bucks for it. I went back in yesterday and I was like, that's a little out of our budget, got it for 130. So, more than a 50% discount. James and Greg are very proud. Um, but yeah, it actually came out of 317 High Street, the fence did, so, they sold it to the antique store. The antique store sold it back to me three houses down from where it came from. So it's going back to its home. Um, it was actually in a movie, they told me. Somebody rented it from them for the movie set for Harriet Tubman. So our fence is famous. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. That's it. See you next week. <laughs>